Hi guys, this is Saturn's Days and we are going to review the Serpent and Peacock Tarot by Libra Moon Incorporated. This deck is very different. Let's get to it. So it comes in this cool box. I actually really love the packaging. It looks like this nice big box with the printing of the cover of the deck on there libra moon tarot so really cool it also comes with this pretty peacock feather inside of the box mine's got a little torn up But I, this was beautiful. Like this was probably my favorite part of the whole packaging. Like I just thought it was so, like I just thought it was so original. Like it made it really, really pretty. So that was nice. It comes with this big guidebook. Once you open it, again the book is phenomenal like i really like it um it shows you like the keywords for the card it is in full color i really really like that and then it gives you kind of like a rundown of the card the definition the verse meaning for the card so that was pretty cool it tells you a little bit about the card. The Five of Cups can be the card of heartache, blah, blah, blah. You know, so the book itself, I mean, I liked it. Like, it really, it was, it's a good book. You know, it's good quality. It's well printed. So, King of Swords. Again, full color well made good quality and then at the end here it gives you like a quote from the libra moon company the maker and i don't even think i showed the front it shows you all the copyrights where to reach out to the company and then it gives you the table of contents for the book so it's easy to find that i liked because some like tarot books like you gotta like scramble through to find the element that you're looking for but in this one like it kind of tells you like okay if you're looking for swords it's here if you're looking for wands it's here so that's pretty cool so that's the book okay now let's get to the deck it comes in a tin box which is cool i love in boxes and it's typically bigger than um it's bigger than like other 10 tarot decks that i have so that's cool it has the printing of again the cover image for the tarot deck in the front serpent and the peacock tarot and it has the libra moon incorporated little symbol that they have for their company you open it and ta-da! You get this very interesting deck. <laughs> it comes with another little booklet in here. I'll show you guys. And this is just... I guess if you buy the deck by itself without the guidebook, which I think is an option, then you know it's letting you know like you can purchase the guidebook too so that's cool let's put that back in here they're not in order i did go through them so fyi so this is the deck nice very nice it's gilded so that's cute that's cute that's cute that's cute it does have a scent, like a very strong chemical scent. So be aware of that. 
when you purchase it if you are sensitive like i when i first opened it i was sneezing for probably like an hour after so this is it very nice and did i mention that these are very very interesting these are extremely interesting <laughs> Let me show you guys. Oh, also you see how like some of the gold flakes kind of fall on your hands. So you obviously have to wash your hands after. Let's put this here. So these are the cards. We have the star card here. The artwork on this deck is pretty interesting to say the least this is the star card and what I'm first let, let's get to the good part right so very resembling of um, the Rider weight with kind of like the title at the bottom here the white edges you get the numbers at the top so very resembling of that you get the similar symbols right you got the the cups you get the wands you have the pentacles you have the swords so that's very resembling of um right away the imagery is more um it says that it's supposed to be a medieval interpretation of the traditional tarot i'm reading that off the book the deck looked beautiful online like i was like oh my god like this deck is awesome you know and then you get it and you you're like all right <laughs> seven of swords you guys see those swords there I think that that's the part that made me want to research this more because it's like i get it like you're getting a thick deck and you're getting a big book and you're getting a peacock feather you know you get, you get the big box but the the seven of swords like the swords like why do they look like that six of swords the imagery of the man on the boat right the boat going and leaving but the swords like i was like blend like the graphic designer inside of me was like please bro like ah. oh my goodness this is the six of pentacles I don't know what this has to do with giving and Libra energy and um, helping those in need and splitting something even. This almost gives like full card energy. So five of swords again. The swords. Nine of swords. And this image, this very same image, is in another deck that I own. So I get it. Like these are medieval images that i guess can be reused Ugh, i touched my back after i touched these and now my back is itchy um i get the images being able to be reused but the graphic designing standpoint of this like is It's different. Ten of Swords. Oh, 
<sighs> Queen of Pentacles, that pentacle, it drives me crazy. Like, why is this your pentacle? And the scent, the smell on these is pretty crazy. Um, Knight of Pentacles, I'm just going to get through it because it, it's pretty much this all throughout. You know, and you definitely can use these and definitely be able to get messages out of these. A lot of the images are poorly edited. Let's just, you know, go there. I mean, it all really depends on what you're looking for. You know, you get the little peacock feather. You get a nice big book, you know, with the definitions of the cards, which is what you're, what you want, you know, like... When you order a deck and you order a guidebook, that's what you're looking for. The images look good online. They definitely do. But upon review, it's it gets a little trickier, you know. If you're someone who owns decks and you know you're expect you're expecting a certain quality in the deck. And you're expecting, you kind of like expect the person or the company that creates the deck to have a little bit, at least, um, more knowledge when picking the images to go on it. Or to be a little bit more sensitive about the, putting, even putting the images together, you know. Then you get to the wands. The wands is really where I was like, all right. I mean, that's an image of Venus as the Knight of Wands. The wand. This is the emperor. The emperor looks fitting. I mean, it's an emperor, you know. And then the the shield, it looks fitting. And the ten of wands. The hierophant looking up at God. Um, I wish that whoever did the Photoshop, um part of this would have maybe like moved this down a little but that's just my personal preference again this is not in any way to discredit the person who made this the company who made this i just feel that you know if you are charging a certain amount of money for something you would want to give it like a little bit more attention to detail i you know again i paid for the deck out of my own money you know this is something that i purchased you know and i'm just giving my honest review like i think that the deck itself is it's a beautiful deck. I really think it is. And, you know, if you are someone who wants to add it to your collection, then you definitely should. You know, if that's something that you want. I'm not saying that you shouldn't purchase it. I'm not saying that it's a bad company at all. At all. I think that it's a good company. Like, they show attention to detail in certain ways. But the imagery, you know, I... I can't imagine reading for someone with this deck. Like, I don't think anyone can take me serious, you know, if this is the deck that I come up with, you know, or th this is one of the decks that I give them to choose from. Ace of Swords. It's the blending for me. Like, I'm, you know, and it could be, like, I did some graphic design work before. That's, for me, That that's really the part. It's really the part. 
like I think it maybe they came up with ways to like blend the elements a little bit better into the images you know then that can be like better for the consumers but I'm just giving my honest review on on the deck just giving my honest review this is a deck that I've been seeing getting advertised online and like I said online <coughs> it's those gold flakes <laughs> jeez it's all over my hand advertised online it looks beautiful all right I'm just gonna flash through some some cards are beautiful again the sun card the moon <laughs> this was the one that got me because I love that image of the moon um I think it's so funny <laughs> so I think this was the one that got me this one and I'm just gonna do a run through the lovers king of cups he's not holding a cup the cup is kind of being held on to him queen of cups i have to run through it because I'm, I'm starting to itch the devil that was pretty fitting this one <laughs> was the other one that got me i like this one see this one is okay like it's not so bad but upon review The Dev card, the flag on the Dev card, the hangman, the hangman, justice. What's hiding in here? The wheel of fortune, the hermit, the strength card, the chariot, the empress. They're also like the imaging. The images are. I wish the images were like better quality. The High Priestess, the Magician, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups. It's sometimes hard to see because the images are um, blurry. The Full Card, yo. You see what I'm saying? All right. Four of Cups. King of Swords. Knight of Swords. Page of Swords. I think the Swords are the one where you really see the artwork queen of swords queen of swords is my favorite card in any deck i always like look for the queen of swords i i just touch my face again i always look for the queen of swords card in any deck <laughs> this is my thing um so like <laughs> king of wands Ace of Cups, the World card. This one was pretty good. I've also seen this this in another deck. So, and then the Queen of Wands. Look at that wand. So all in all, again, I'm not saying don't purchase the deck. Um, I think that it's a great company you know putting their efforts forward to make a classic medieval deck um i think that there's definitely some things that they need to work on with the deck i personally will not be using this deck for readings not just because i think the artwork doesn't 
resonate with the meaning of the cards um i also think that again whoever makes the deck the effort that they put into the deck really shows into your readings so that's important and i'm not talking about oh if it gets printed in a factory or it gets printed at home no the per like the work that goes into the artwork you know like the definition of those or the choosing of the images or you know the knowledge of the person doing this i think it's really important you know i you can't just slap a symbol on a card and be like this is this so also i can't really read with it because the scent is really strong and then those gold sparkles are everywhere and every anywhere i touch my body with this i'm getting a little bit of an allergic reaction so if you have sensitive skin like i do you know it could just be me but if you have sensitive skin like i do just be aware of that if you're gonna purchase this deck i'm sure that you'll love it you know everyone has everyone's entitled to their opinions and everyone's entitled to liking the things that they like so i just wanted to give you guys a review of this deck again it is a deck that is very different the artwork is very different and um i do want to look into like the artist like see how how like what her and see like what her you know like what the the planning stages were of this or something or you know like how did this come about you know what did it take but i love the peacock it comes with a little peacock feather so that i loved right like that this was so cute i loved it i really love that you know I love supporting small businesses and you know it's one of the reasons why i ordered from etsy why i ordered from their their shop so all right guys this is your serpent and the peacock tarot deck review um i hope you guys liked it you know the honesty here this is Saturn's Days, and I hope you guys have a great day.